Everybody says sex before marriage is a sin, right? Mm -hmm. Show me one verse that says that. There is no verse that says that. There is no verse that says that. Really? Is that true? Are you kidding? Wonderful. What is this? Um, once again, beloved, we're most welcome to Manzai Network Hub. May the Lord Richie bless you. Um, maybe today is your first time coming across this channel. I want to do something to support the truth, to support the kingdom, to support the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ, to support if only heaven is your focus and Christ is your pursuit. I want you to give a subscribe, subscribe to this channel and share this channel for others to also come to know of the truth that is on Mount Zion. Mount Zion, there's nothing but truth. May the Lord Richie bless you. In the book of John chapter 8 verse 32, Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth set you free so only antidote to, to 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 slavery is truth and the truth that is only found in christ may the lord richie bless you um as i said subscribe if today is the first time subscribe please god richie bless you um to, today we are going to watch a video myself i my spirit is not okay when i came across this video and i said no i have to let my viewers also watch this because they also learn a lot. Because I, I realize people are following this man of God. There's a video, and this video, um, th this prophet is called Prophet Lovi. I stand to be corrected on his name. And he has made an intriguing, um, 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 detestable um, comment in one of the diaries of his teaching. And he says something. And what he said is not much concern to me, though he's serious. But there's no among the congregation or the congregant or the church that could write to say what we are saying is not true but they, but, but, but they are rather cheering him up they were they were they were supporting him on that cause which is very disdain it says before marriage wrong or right this man is saying there's nothing wrong with it but thanks be to lord jesus christ there is a man of god that i'm going to share this video he has also rebutted. He has also made a video in connection to what this prophet is saying. And he has given him a head to head and not to nod and a break to break. And I want us to watch this. And as you watch this, share this for someone to watch it. Because these are the first prophet the Bible talks about. And they are in the name of urban gospel, in the name of, I don't know what they call the, um, this Christianity in this very age. They want to take everything to the next level that the next level we don't know where the level is going the next level that is going to they, is going to distraction i don't know the next level they are going to carry the church to i want you to listen and reason may the lord richie bless you everybody says sex before marriage is a sin right mm -hmm. show me one verse that says that there is no verse that says that there is no explicit verse that says that My dear beloved brother, <laughs> let me tell you something, man. Uh -huh. If having sex before marriage was justifiable in the eyes of God, it wouldn't be no married man. Uh, no. Everybody says sex before marriage is a sin, right? Mm -hmm. Show me one verse that says that. First Corinthians 7 and at verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid marriage. Avoid fornication. Avoid marriage. Avoid fornication. You foolish preachers, get out the pulpit. That's right. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. But what? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. To avoid fornication. What do God recommend? Let every man have his own wife. Every man. But is it explicitly considered a sin? No. What is explicitly spoken as a sin is if you are married you sleep outside of your marriage. Now you are into fornication. You foolish preachers, get out the pulpit. That's right. You mean to tell me you can't tell the difference between adultery and fornication? Right. Are you that blind Amen. and deceive of the devil? Amen. You false prophets, you should be. A, you should do a better job in representing the devil. That's right. When you fail, when you fail in representing the devil.